small length so I use the normal meter scale what is parallax the moment this angle is shrinking what do you feel you feel that the point is shifted to a position B Hello students, this is SD Sir from the Temple of Excellence. Remember, you have all pitched into the platform with a definite aim, specified dream. Do not rest, be lenient until you convert your dreams into the truths. And this is the right platform which will give you that support and with all support you can become a great success. My dear students, in the previous session we have understood thoroughly the different ways of measuring mass and time. In my today's session we will understand the different ways of measuring length. How do I define length, students? Some distance, some height, some displacement, some depth, all these parameters are expressed in terms of a physical quantity called length. So if I observe here, a meter scale will always measures length in the range 10 power minus 2 meter small length. So I use the normal meter scale which can measure the smallest possible length of 10 power minus 2 meter. Something called vernier calipers, label use martira, can measure length up to the range 10 power minus 3 meter. So the smallest length that can be measured using a calipers is 10 power minus 3 meter. Screw gauge and spirometers in the range 10 power minus 4 to 10 power minus 5 meters. So all small range of lengths I can measure either using a meter scale, either using a screw gauge, either using a spirometer or my calipers. But what do I do if I have to measure large distances? Chikkaalathegalna meter scale al markul TV. Vernier's calipers and a device of Screw gauge at was spirometer na upyogus kondo. Tumba chikka alate galna maapana maarthi vi. Haagit mele, how do I measure very large distances? For example, distance between the earth and the moon. Distance between the earth and the sun. Distance between the earth and the planet for which we shall use something called as a parallax method. So now in detail we shall understand the parallax method used to measure large distances. So please do keep in mind any large distance is always measured using parallax method. 
Now, before going into parallax method, we shall understand what is parallax for which I shall consider this example. I will place a very small point on the board. If you can observe the digital board, this is what is called a screw gauge. This device I was talking before to measure small length. You will be seeing this in your lab and this is what is called as a screw gauge. Now to understand what actually is parallax. At this position A, I have marked a point, a very small point. Now I want all of you to close one of your eyes and to observe that point. What sir, hide and seek today, chupa chupi game. No, some physical activity. Yeah, all of you close your eyes. Observe carefully at this point. What do you feel? You feel that the point is shifted to a position B. It is actually at the position A. But when you have closed your eyes, you come to believe that it is shifted to the position B. Shifted. So there is a shift in the position of an object with respect to a given background. The position of the object appears to be shifted on the given background and this shift is what we call as parallax and this distance of shift is what we call as basis. One of the common types of errors when you do an experiment, something called parallax error due to the change in the focal length of the eye. So what was parallax students? It was a shift in the position of an object on the background. And what was the distance of shift called as basis? And with respect to this, we calculate something called large distances using parallax method. Gabbar Singh in Shole had this parallax effect because of which he could spot things very accurately, it seems. See, nature. Good. Now I'll consider two points A and B on the surface of the earth. Let me consider point A is the C.V. Raman Laboratory set up in India and the point B is the NASA set up in U.S. Sir, I don't know what my brother put it Distance between them is small b. So, small b represents the distance between a and b. Again, what is a? Sir C. V. Raman slab in India. And b is the point which is NASA at US. What are they aiming at? Both of them aim to observe a planet, yes, very far away from them. 
people from cv raman laboratory are observing this planet yes whereas people from nasa are also observing the planet yes and the distance from a to s is capital d again b to s is capital d and this theta angle a yes b this angle a yes b is equal to theta which is called as the parallax angle so a and b are two points on the surface of the earth they are separated by distance b yes is a planet which is at a large distance capital d from these two points and angle a yes b is theta which is called parallax angle now what i assume is theta the parallax angle is getting reduced so in the first case theta is getting reduced you observe the two points here are coming close the moment this angle is shrinking the moment parallax angle is contrasting the base of the two lines are getting close further again theta is reduced this distance is reduced and if you observe for the smallest possible angle here ab forms an arc of length b so what am i trying to say here is as the parallax angle is getting reduced the distance between the base of the two lines shrinks as theta decreases the decreases there is a decrement in the base of the two lines and for the least possible angle for the smallest possible theta now the base becomes an arc of length b so mathematically we told arc length is the product of radius and parallax angle please to remember arc length is always the product of radius into parallax angle generally yes equals r theta you should have studied in your trigonometry length of an arc yes is r theta here arc length is b radius is d divided by theta or large distance b is arc length divided by the parallax angle so very clearly you see by using the parallax method technique i can calculate very large distances so if i define again if theta is considered to be small as theta goes on decreasing the distance between these two lines contrasts it shrinks the two bases come close to each other so for a particular least possible value of theta now the distance will form an arc now no long it remains a straight line theta has taken the least possible value for which the distance is in the form of an arc whose length is b therefore 
mathematically we calculate arc length equals radius into parallax angle s yes, is r times theta in this particular situation what is s r length is b what is r the distance between the planet and the stations on the earth capital d theta is the parallax angle or capital d equals b divided by theta so very clearly you can see using parallax method i am able to calculate large distances by using this expression now this is a beautiful instrument what we call as the vernier calipers or the slide calipers which is again used to measure small distances eventually in your lab classes in your practical classes you will be taught how to use a vernier calipers a screw gauge a spherometer here this is what is called the vernier scale and this is what we call main scale you will be taught there there are 10 divisions on the vernier scale there are 0 to 20 centimeters on the main scale you will be taught how to measure the least count when it comes to a spherometer, a screw gauge, a vernier calipers and all these activities are linked with the measurement of length. Now therefore, you can see here, this is a beautiful slide giving me the image of an electron microscope. You have all used optical microscopes. What is a microscope, students? A device which is used to magnify the image of objects not seen to the naked eye. Bari kannalli kandiru vanta vastgala image no magnify maado vandu device na electron or generally microscope and kari TV. Then what is an optical microscope? If you use beam of light on the object and get the image magnified that is an optical microscope optics something that is related to light what is electron microscope then if i am using beam of electrons instead of light if i use beam of electrons to get the magnification done then it is called electron microscope which is better optical microscope or electron microscope here you see the magnifying power of electron microscope is 10 power 5 times Resolution obtained from an electron microscope is 10 power 5 times more than that of an optical microscope. Resolution is super fine here. That is the reason which, for which we use electron microscope. So today's session very clearly we have understood measurement of length right from the measurement of minute lengths with a scale a screw gauge a spherometer to measure large distances like the parallax method and to measure the diameters of small particles using an optical or an electron microscope my next session what is that we have learned the measurement of 
the three representative quantities. Next, my measurement may creep in errors. What is an error? What are the different types of errors? How do I overcome errors? Curious? Yes. Curiosity is the mother of all inventions. I come up in the next session with these things. Until then, stay fine. Thank you.